What's up, everybody? I am in Winchester, Indiana. We've got a very unique haunting tonight, so we'll see how this goes. Let me see. This thing is like crazy. Whoops. We'll see how this goes tonight. As a lot of you guys know, Winchester, Indiana was hit by a very big tornado, a lot of damage. So I'm kind of navigating around all that, trying to stay out of the way. But it looks like they've got a lot of the streets and stuff open back up, which is good. But Dan, the guy that owns the Stone Mansion, had contacted us a day after the storms and the historic Stone Mansion took on a lot of storm damage. I mean, like a lot of damage. So he was curious if the storms affected the paranormal, would the place be more active? Do the spirits understand that their building was damaged? So those are some questions that we're hopefully gonna find answers to tonight. As a lot of you guys know, when you go through, like if you're investigating and the thunderstorm comes through, it's like that storm energizes the atmosphere and it seems to ramp up the activity. So leave a comment below. What do you guys think? Do you think it'll be more active? Do you think the spirits will know that a storm hit? Very curious. <clears throat> That's the wonderful thing about the paranormal is always curious how these things work. So yeah, right in front of me, I'll show you guys real quick. Let me flip this around. So this was used to be a Taco Bell and stuff. And as you can see, the Taco Bell is completely gone. Once we get through here, I'll flip this back around. I'll show you guys over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. A lot of damage out that way. So yeah, we'll avoid all the uh, areas where people are working to get electric and stuff back on. Which I think if we keep going straight, I don't actually remember how to get to the Stone Mansion. So we're just going to wing it. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. See my new merch. Paranormal Nightmare pink hoodie. <clears throat> Hopefully pretty soon it'll be uh, hoodie weather. Oops. Hoodie weather will be over with. We were wanting to get drone footage over here, but there is like 30 mile per hour winds. Wind gusts probably close to 40, so we're definitely not flying the drone today. Yeah, we investigated this place probably three years ago, I believe, and we caught all kinds of crazy stuff during the investigation. I remember in the basement, specifically, we were hearing something walking around the wood floors above us. And then that night, I believe we had Leo Doyle with us. Those of you that's not familiar with Leo, he's probably like one of the smartest people I know when it comes to um, paranormal equipment. He is an engineer and he builds a lot of the equipment that we use. So he really, really, like I said, just one of the smartest people I know when it comes to building paranormal equipment. With that engineer background and the science background. And I feel like we turn left here. I feel if we drive around town long enough, we'll um, run into the Stone Mansion. I have not seen it since it's been, had so much damage. So hopefully the building, the owner said the building like structurally is sound to be in and all that stuff's okay. But he was just curious 
how this affected the haunting, if it affected it at all. We will see. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't read your comments right this second. Okay, I'm looking for West Street. If any of you guys on here have ever investigated the Stone Mansion, drop a comment below. Boy, this building got destroyed. I feel like that was not storm damage, though. I'm hoping I brought a bunch of Tums. I got one in my pocket. All I do all night when I investigate is eat Tums. Yeah, we've been out investigating like crazy, so I think this weekend gonna take off and just stay home and edit, get caught up on editing. I think I turn here. The family haunting we just did over in Detroit, it's probably one of the best investigations I've ever been part of. I probably could have turned. Sorry to the guy behind me. But it's probably one of the best investigations I've ever been part of. So I'm trying to get that done and hopefully that'll be the first episode we put out in April. This Friday night, we have a very special update with Cheryl. So make sure you guys tune in Friday. Actually, it'll probably be like Friday afternoon. I'm not gonna do a premiere or anything with it. Because what it is, is the, um, I guess like an intervention with Cheryl. Um, and then after that is just the episode. Because there's probably a lot of people that'll watch the intervention and not know what in the hell I'm talking about. So I put the episode after that. So people that missed it or haven't seen the episode, they can watch it and understand. Plus you'll get to see how does Cheryl look seven months after our original investigation. What has Cheryl been up to the last seven months? How has Cheryl's housing changed in the past seven months? All questions you'll get to see answered. I have no freaking clue where this place is. I'm just gonna keep drive. Boys, a lot of damage over this way. Oh, here, I'll show you guys. We're pulling up the stone mansion. We're going to see it together for the very first time. This is another area where the storms came through. Oh, wow. So let's just drive around at one time here real quick. So you guys can see. Boy, it took, there was all these beautiful big trees that have been out here for hundreds of years or gone. Boy, it's pretty crazy. I tell you, the night the storms came through here, they literally just missed by a few miles where we live. It was myself, wife, Kenzie, Tucker, and Duke all crammed into a little coat closet, which is only like the safe place we have when storms like that hit. Okay, now I don't know how to get back over that way. Let's drive around this way a little bit. So you guys can see the tornado came right through here.
Boy, it's crazy. Ten I was talking to her aunt, which their house was destroyed as well. And um, she said the whole thing lasted about 10 seconds. I just think 10 seconds. And your entire world, your entire life is turned upside down. It's hard not to get emotional seeing all this stuff. Just imagine what these people are going through. I think often it's easy to get caught up on trivial stuff like social media and all that stuff. and But you just forget sometimes how fragile life is and how in a split second everything could be gone. I don't know. This is going to be kind of uh, kind of an emotional night, I think. You know, just seeing all the devastation that you guys see the uh, trees and stuff down. Boy, it's like easy to, I think it's easy to get caught up in life and just, and these storms, I mean, they literally went, it's had to be hundreds of miles and just dropping tornado after tornado after tornado and just leave a trail of destruction. And I know Dan had put so much work into this old building trying to save it. Because we were actually, we came in here when he first bought it. And the amount of work that he did to it and then. But I think this building's still savable. Some of these other houses, not so much. So definitely thoughts and prayers to the community of Winchester and I know they'll pull through this and get past it, but it still sucks going through it. I've never actually been like through a tornado. I've seen, been close enough to see them, but never had anything like destroyed from one or went through one. It's pretty crazy. Hopefully I get a signal in here tonight. Yeah, I don't know. From like a paranormal side of things, I don't know. You know, are, do the spirits understand what happened to the building? Because this house was like, a, this mansion was like family owned. So it was like generation after generation lived and died inside this place. And I'll post a link, maybe even incorporate some of the old investigation we did three years ago into this and just see, um, that way you guys can kind of get a look. And I'm pretty sure if you just type in Stone Mansion, Paranormal Nightmare, it'll pull it up. Kind of want to go up and see how Dan and his brother are doing. I know they've been working nonstop on this place, trying to get the trees and all that stuff off the building. Let me see if I can read some of your comments here. Hello, everybody. Yeah, if you guys are new here, please take a second and subscribe to the channel. 
Thank you, Christine. I think that was Christine Roberts. So yeah, this Friday afternoon, I'll post the update video for Cheryl. A lot of you guys have been asking about her. So it's pretty interesting, very um, informative. So we put out a lot of good information with the update. And then um, first week of April, we'll have brand new episodes starting up. Like a lot of you guys already know, we do three episodes um, a month. Just four episodes is pretty tough to do when you do it all year long. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, this case that we just did in Detroit, it's probably, like I said, it's one of the best cases I've ever been involved with. And you guys will get to see that. I'm only probably 40% into it as far as editing. Cause when I edit, I go over evidence as I edit. So I review video, and I think we probably had six different cameras running. So definitely a lot of videos coming out. Um, Travis, we have not talked to Travis, so I currently have no updates on that. Uh, we're going to film here tonight, go back home Wednesday, t tomorrow, get everything charged. We'll be back on the road Thursday, starting filming for Chasing Evil. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for Chasing Evil. So the official interviews are gonna be start filming Thursday. Um, we're going to hopefully film that at a undisclosed location, just because you'll see this case is pretty, pretty, could get very dangerous. So we try to take a lot of precautions, even shooting interviews. You think you go out and shoot interviews, how dangerous can it be? They can get dangerous, trust me, so. You just never know when you're dealing with criminals that are trying to hide a crime. You know, could the interview thing be a setup? You never know what you're walking into with those, so. We'll see. I think everything will go good. Let's see. Thank you. Let's try to read some of your guys' comments. Somebody said, good morning. Where is it morning at right now? I'm sure it's morning somewhere. Got some people from Australia. Yes, the case in Detroit is going to be a longer one. I don't know if it's going to be an hour and a half or two hours. It's definitely going to be a longer one because I am 38 minutes into it and not even close to being finished. So it's definitely gonna be like at least an hour and a half, if not longer than that. But with the tricky thing is like, when you go into a location, you're literally there for six, seven, sometimes eight hours. And obviously you don't have activity the entire eight hours. Um, activity is always sporadic. So you'll get a few seconds here and there so with the episodes, obviously you want to make them as entertaining as possible. So when I edit, I try to just keep a good flow to it, if that makes sense, to make sure the episode flows. That way people stay entertained and engaged with the what's going on. What I found is when you get a lot of dead time, which anybody that's ever investigated, there's like a lot of dead time, no pun intended. Um, there's a lot of sitting around waiting on things to happen, um, changing out batteries, moving equipment. So, coffee breaks. So I try to cut out all that stuff because I think if people were watching us run like a EVP session sitting there or sitting in a room for 20 minutes waiting for something to happen, just staring at the walls, people would probably be like, well, this is boring as hell and click off of it. I think I have some drone footage the last time we were here. I can try to use. Obviously, that's not going to incorporate. I'm going to try to shoot some uh, B-roll to, um, I guess we can go see if we can find Dan and his brother. Take a look around real quick, other than sitting here listening to me chat. 
Um, let me find. Let me get my mount out of here. Hey guys, bear with me one second. I'm going to put this mount on here. If you can we'll just set that there for a second. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to throw this mount. Probably put it this way. Yeah. This way it's not quite as shaky for you guys. There we go. Near, far. Near. Remember that off of uh, Sesame Street? Okay, let's go see if we can find. It's going to be like extremely windy. I'll try to get out of the wind as soon as possible. So just work with me. You guys can see my new merch. Let's go see if we can find Dan. Hopefully I, the signal stays good here. Flip this around real quick so you guys can see the stone mansion. down back there. I'm almost afraid to walk underneath these trees. Especially as windy as it is right now. See if we can find them. I don't know where everybody's at. quite for sure where everybody's at. Figure eventually somebody will walk through here. Show you guys around real quick. I remember the last time we were here, this place was absolutely freezing. I don't think it ever got out of the single digits. Hello? Hello?
I'm assuming structurally, all this is okay. See, a lot of these windows were blowing out, so they're working on getting them covered back up. I didn't wear the right shoes for all this glass. So what do you guys think? Do you think something like this would ramp up the activity? Let's see, I think Dan messaged me. I lost my... Let's go see if we can find Dan. They're probably wondering who the hell's walking around up here. Yeah, it may buff, right? I don't know how good the signal is in this area. What's up? <laughs> I'm alive, taking the people tour through the building. Oh yeah? How have things been? A little, little, uh, little bit blown around. I don't think that wind's quit since that tornado came through. It's pretty windy out there. Yeah. Um, the neighbor who was watching the tornado said it hit, it hit the stone mansion here, split it, uh, part of it went around the front, the other, the other part went around back. By the time it got formed back up, it saved his house. Oh, wow. So it took a direct hit, and uh, no, uh, no new house would have done that. How old is this place? 1868. So 1868 building gets through a tornado, and all the new construction that's up to code gets blown away. It's blown away, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. So what do you think? Do you think it ramps up the activity? Do you think the activity is going to change? Or? I have no idea. I'd like to know what the general thinks. Because nobody, I don't think anybody's even been here to, to ask them. So it's not been investigated since the storms? I'm surprised that people hadn't been like knocking on the door saying, hey, hey, we'll do it, we'll do it. But nobody has, so. You know. And uh, when Dan reached out, I was like, well, that's a good concept. I never even thought about how a storm like this and damage like this would affect a haunting. You know, do the spirits here realize what happened? And the, the resident here, the residents here. They're the uh, owner, and they're, uh, they're uh, hopefully want to find out um, that it's going to stay standing. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that's the case. And got a structural engineer coming and stuff, and it uh, I assume it would be okay. But you think structurally they'll be able to save it? Oh yeah. Yeah, because I think uh, we haven't. The only the only thing you've seen move is the back porch, or the well, that porch over there. The stone looks like it it got a little bit rattled, but other than that, um, yeah, it uh, it took the hit. Those trees out there, those are. I wonder how old those trees. Those got to be hundreds of years old. Well, the tree up front, the evergreen was was uh, uh, planted by the Secretary of State at the time. So 1868, that tree out front, so it uh, got 
part of it got blown over in another windstorm, I guess, years ago. And then this, the other part now has got blown off. So now it's kind of right, right in itself back up. So hopefully we can, uh, Hey, look who we got here. Keep it going. Hey. Keep it growing. Amen. <coughs> okay. Trying to, trying to make sure their seat here tonight. We just got the meter reset oh, today. Yeah. They pulled out the meters and everything and somebody spilled something in the igniter here and cooked it. So hopefully this one here is good. Did you come in on 32? Uh, right past it, Randolph. Right in front of Walmart. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess the um, tornadoes always go northeast, except for the last two it's been here, and they went straight east. Oh, wow. So it followed 32 all the way up, yeah. I guess. So I guess you can drive in up 32, and there's just damage all, all the way up. And, um, oh, wow. We were out being stupid chasing it, but we've all been trained for storm chasers, and they always say stay southeast of it because uh, that's a safe zone, but when it's going straight east. <laughs> yeah, we had storm chasers. I think they go all over the country. They were in Greenville that night, and they'd caught the one, went right across the road, just north of Greenville. Okay. They caught that on video and stuff. Well, that's why I went out to Logan County. It's blanked out there south of Indian Lake. Okay. On the southeast end. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty trashed here. If you if you uh, did you turn there at Walmart at the light? Yeah, right there. Right yeah, there. left. Yeah. 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 Um, it's pretty bad. Yeah, the Taco Bell. There wasn't anything like the Taco Bell. Yeah, the guy was full of rock hills and white Taco Bell. So where did the employees go? They just leave, or one guy said he was in. They said there were four. And the one guy said he was in the cooler, which I don't know if that meant him and the rest of them, but he just spoke for himself, and he said that uh, when the tornado hit, the door came off and fell apart through him about 15 feet ahead uh, into some rubble and stuff, but uh, I don't know what the other people there, but they already got the new Taco Bell rebuilt. Hmm? In three days. It's already up and serving food. Hmm. No way. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> That's a big ass. There's, there's no that Taco <laughs> that, that Taco Bell's never going to be up again. I'm going to try to find the, um, oh, whoops. I'm going to try to find the basement for you guys. Whoops. That's not a basement. I'm going to try to give you guys a tour real quick. I'm just afraid if I go to the basement, let's see if I lose my signal, we'll come right back up, okay? don't have a light. Yeah, this basement was absolutely crazy last time we were here. So I definitely want to spend time down here. Is it lagging? Yeah, this place is so much different than when we first investigated this place. I mean, they've done a shit ton of work to it. And then it goes all the way back that way too. So yeah, hopefully tonight we get at least the same amount of activity, if not more.
it is cold. Sean, you want to say hi to everybody? Hey, everybody. Um, no, it's already chilly. It's a windy, windy day. It's cold. It's going to be a, another cold investigation. One day we'll get a warm investigation. It is near as cold as last time we were here. Just wait till tonight. Yeah, it still won't be. It was in the single digits last time we were here. A little over three three years. Three years. I was trying to wonder who, how long it was. I can't remember. This place just amazes me how high these doors and stuff are. Every time I come here. Can you imagine having doorways that tall? What's weird is they have the doorways that are like crazy tall. And I'll show you, they put the door handles like down super low to the ground. Yeah, because the guy that had this built or uh, that lived here, he, he wasn't, they wasn't very tall, him and his wife, right? Five foot. Five foot tall. He was like 4'11 and he was like right at five foot. So that's why the door handles are low. Yeah. yeah, but why'd they need 10 foot? That's longer, that's higher than 10 foot. There's 14 foot ceilings. But how high is the doorways? 12 foot? Uh, nine, I would say. But uh, they, that was for heat uh, in the summer, for the heat to kind of like blow through and then in the winter time when, with the stove and stuff, that the smoke would rise. So. All the houses were had tall ceilings, and it was because of for the heating and the um, cooling in the summer. Hmm. Let's see if I can answer some questions here. We are in Winchester, Indiana at the Stone Mansion. We are going to shoot some B-roll around the house and outside and then probably do a walkthrough again with Dan. Outside too much with it being so windy because I don't want one of those freaking trees to. But I'm like OCD if my strings aren't. Look, my camera's crooked. But you guys may have seen Duke and I went live earlier today. If you can bring that over to my car, I'll put my mouth back up. I head back out and get a drink. Yeah, once the sun starts to go down a little bit, we'll um, shoot B-roll. Well, shit. I think I came out the wrong spot. Three more days before they get some. 
way out there, but yeah, I drove them around the neighborhood a little bit. It's back in there is freaking destroyed. Where at? Back in that area. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Okay. Give me one second here. You can set that stuff down there. Did someone get coffee? Try to think the gas station's over there. Hope you enjoy this gift. Love your show so much. Do us here. This is from Tracy Carson. I feel like the other package that we got too with the shirts. I think Tracy said those were from her as well. Oh, okay. A whole bunch of lip balm. 24 packs. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy rocks. 12 flavors um, in this. It must be like, uh, well, there's coconut and stuff like that. So, hmm. pineapple, watermelon. I think that may be peach. Then I don't know what these flowers are. That's pretty cool, though. Thank you, Tracy. We go through a lot of chapstick during investigations. That's why I learned quick to try to always just leave one in my car, but that's hard to do during the summer. It looks like they're up there working on the telephone pole. Yeah, we went by, oh, I didn't see that. You see that up in the tree? Mm -hmm. Dang. But we went to buy these one, two cars, and the one car, all the windows are smashed in and everything. Yeah, these linemen, well, I tell you, that anytime a natural disaster happens, the linemen are, like, there. and So we appreciate any linemen out there watching we appreciate it yeah that's what i had to tell uh the internet guy when he came over to look at my internet it's been out you know for since the storm started and i told him i understand because they got most of their people up in logan county so which he was crazy because he was telling me a story about he was actually on the other side of town where Josh lives. And he was coming through. And he seen it started getting dark and the storm coming. So he's like, well, I guess I'll turn on the radio. So he turned on the radio and started hearing about uh, tornadoes. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> I guess he just stopped, turned his car around and went. Started heading back the other way. He was like, I don't think I'm going that way. That's what was crazy is it literally went from, I think right before the storm started coming, it was like 68 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then 20 minutes later, it was like 31 degrees outside. I mean, the temperature dropped like that. Yeah. And then as soon as the storm went through, temperature went back up to what, about 50 some? Mm-hmm. And that's what I don't get is how some of these people, because like you go to your closet and stuff to hide, but these houses that are like completely leveled and people survive that. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you, Goldie. I mean, that's freaking crazy. Yeah, luckily I got a basement. Rocky's got a basement. I don't have a basement. Josh don't have a We basement. were literally all crammed in this little closet. It got so hot. Duke was freaking out because the sirens went off for what? 45 minutes? Oh, yeah. Mine in, mine in town, they, uh, it seemed like an hour easy. So Duke had no freaking clue what was going on, so he was freaking out. Tucker, he thought he was on vacation, so Tucker was excited. <laughs> He's like, well, oh, all these new smells, everybody's loving on me finally. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't picture being in a closet with the Duke in there. What, they have three fatalities here? Yeah, I think three or four. I think all, most all the, and I could be wrong, but I think all the fatalities came from a mobile home park mm -hmm. here, and then all the fatalities up in Logan County. Weren't they in a mobile home park or like an RV park? That I don't have a clue about Logan County. I never heard anything about Logan. How many um, fatalities there was up there or anything. But I think that's what me and Rocky was talking about. Because if you think about Logan, I mean, which businesses got hit and everything, a lot of them houses and everything is not very big. I mean, because it's right there on the um, Indian Lake. And we went by these uh, RVs, and there was like three or four RVs laying on the side. And it looked like there was like 80 RVs out there. So it's just crazy that only three of them that I could see. Now, if you drove back into them, maybe more got hit. I'm not for sure. But it's just sad when you drive through there. You remember when we were kids, we went to, was it Hurricane Andrew? Hit Miami, Florida. And we went through there right after. Mm-hmm. Like McDonald's, like the big M for McDonald's, their sign was like melted all down the side of the sidewalk. And that's what uh, I think the worst I remember here would have been when our KM got hit and out there by Pleasant Hill and stuff got hit there on 571. Yeah, this is definitely the worst tornado outbreak we've had. Yeah, for a little bit. Like Memorial Day weekend, you know, down around Dayton and stuff got hit. The Memorial Day tornadoes. I think that mm -hmm. night we had 81 tornadoes hit. <clears throat> Is there anybody on here that's up around Logan County? Should have brought your friend to read chat. It's open that door. It's right there in that, this spot. Just time. I don't think any of Josh's neighbors have uh, uh, basements either. I don't think any of them houses. Nope, we have no, as far as I know, there's no basements on our street. Would just be the crawl space, but now he could break into the school, then go to the basement of the school. To me, I was gonna just flip over the couches and stuff. That way, you're just like covered. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I Man, if a tornado hits your house like head on, there's really like, unless you have a basement. It's just a lot of praying and hope to God that you live through it. Like Kathy, she said it literally lasted 10 seconds and it was gone. And those houses are destroyed. And yeah. that they were in their hall. They don't have a basement either. And they were in their hallway in the middle of the house. Bang. If you guys have any tornado stories... Leave a comment below and let us know. Sandra said it, it's a, um, our cyclone season. Must be... Who gets cyclones? 
Is that like Western Australia? Australia. I know, like in Asia and stuff, they get cyclones and stuff, but I guess I just assume that Australia got hurricanes. Like maybe on like one specific part of the ocean, it's considered a cyclone, and then our part of the ocean, it's considered a hurricane. I'm no weather expert. I specialize in talking to dead people, not yeah. forecasting storms. I don't know. I got this kind of bad habit when the sirens go off. I want to go outside and watch the weather <laughs> and record the lightning and stuff coming. That's what I see in one video. The people were literally out on their front porch recording it, and their house was being like ripped apart, and they were just standing there recording yeah. it the whole time. I thought, you know how, I mean, just to get views, you you could literally die, like, in a split second. Victoria said, we drive through Logan County when we visit family in Lima. That's one thing, too, is, like, I went, I drove on the outskirts south of Indian Lake to uh, some of the back roads that they had, I was kind of trying to see where the may have t touched down at, and there's this one house with a, I guess the garage that was right beside it, and the house and garage was just flattened, and it was the only house on the road, and then there, when you went down, maybe about, uh, I think, 100 feet or so, on the other side of the road, there was, must have been something right there on the corner, because it was flattened too. But I didn't, but farther south than that house, I didn't see no damage. So to me, it looked like it had to set down right around that field or right on top of that house. But then it may have bounced back up and started, you know, just wiping everything out head and east. You know, the creepy thing is all those turkey vultures flying over top of the building. I don't know if you guys can see those. There's a bunch of vultures flying over the building. Here comes Rocky. Rocky's the only one that wore the proper footwear for tonight. Mm -hmm. So we'll get to hear his big ass boots walking around. Linda said I grew up in Scottsdale, and they seem to be much worse These than they wore back in the day. Boots were made for Rocky. And that's what he's going to do. Gothic and Bray said, last hurricane we had here was over 30 years ago. Hurricane Bob. Hurricane Bob. I wonder when tornado season's over. When winter sets back in. I don't know. I feel like that tornado alley is just like kind of like slowly moved east over the last several years. Because mm -hmm. this part of Ohio was always part of tornado alley, but it feels like it's shifted more east now. Pretty soon it's going to be up into like Pennsylvania and stuff. Jerry said it's snowing. Yeah, somebody else earlier said it was snowing in Canada. Yeah, maybe it's good, yeah. It snowed yesterday. That's why I told them we had a coating on the, on the grass of snow. Yeah. yeah, I was coming back from uh, Cincinnati and it started coming down pretty good there for maybe, I don't know, about three or four miles. As he said, she worries about her granddaughter in uh, Kentucky from the weather. I 
Uh, no, we have not done any paranormal in the UK, Samantha. You said there was a gas station here? Mm-hmm. Probably have to go back down towards McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You can go out that way. Do you guys eat yet? Uh-uh. We could go find some coffee. I think I gotta sneeze. Coffee and chicken nuggets. Josh brought a little piece of Duke. Tina says, I need to get me one of them hoodies. It is a cool hoodie. I like it. Mm -hmm. Viva asked, Rocky, did you get my package? What, uh, what was it? That'll ruin the surprise. <laughs> well, we won't know, though. I'm up for sure. Because we just opened some packages, but I don't remember anything about. I'm, I'm going to tell him. How about this? When did you send it? Lock your doors. I'm going to tell him. We're running. Hey, Richard. Hey, Richard. I'll just keep the keys in my pocket real quick. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alrighty. I think the last ones we go. Is it Kirk? From the paranormal? Car. 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 Cars. Yeah. Well, Josh said, well, we just got a, this rock. That's what came in my package. Um, cool. came one. from Tracy, right? Thank you, Tracy. I'm on double check, but if that's Sean's right, yeah, I'm on double check. Yep, Tracy Carson, and uh, Josh said she he was pretty sure it was uh, Tracy that sent us some shirts that we opened up Saturday. Yeah, because we didn't have a. Uh... Name on the yeah, shirt. there wasn't no name on the inside. Yeah. Thanks, Tracy. Let's see. Let's I'm get a picture of Josh here. He's out there talking to Dan. Talking to Richard. It's Dan's brother. Oh, I mean, yeah. They're twins. I get them mixed up. <laughs> I thought I did when I walked in there. It's like Josh is over on the side. He needs to move over some. That way you guys could see the back of it. His back of that says Team Nightmare. Is that one that you made, Rocky? Rocky makes some really good shirts and stuff, so make sure you go over to Teesprings and check it out. Okay, we'll be back. You're not, Dan. <laughs> Which I did. I go, Josh's out there talking to Dan. Rocky's like, that's Richard. And I was like, oh, crap. Yeah, that's right. new people on here that haven't seen it yet. Just trying to remember how to get back to that main street. Down here then. I think it was this way. Why do you get down here now? There. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we're going to try to find McDonald's. Get some coffee. Maybe some chicken nuggets. Chicken 
nuggets sound good. Pop it in my phone real quick. I was thinking, when I was coming over here, I was thinking go to that one restaurant, but that's Hartford City, not Winchester. They do have that pizza place up town. What is it? Mount Polish, where we had last time. Or, no. Yeah, that's here, right? Isn't it? Is it? Yeah. I don't know, my map's got me like all the way up in Michigan. It's right up here in town. It's up around the... I think you would turn right. Right here. Here it is. That pizza place. Oh, the one me and you stopped at. Yeah, yeah Chicago, Chicago pizza. Oh, that'd be nasty. That's we one we ate. Last time. No, we didn't. We yeah, went we to... Did. That's, That's where we ordered. we ordered. You loved it. No, I did not. Yeah, you we did. got it right up here. No, we just ordered that and we brought it out to the uh, asylum. Oh. And we all sat there and ate. We ate it. Do you want to go in there and order something? Where was you talking about? Yeah. I was thinking the place there, right next to Rose, where we always got pizza. Oh, yeah. That pizza, though, was better. Yeah, I like yeah. this pizza better than that one. I didn't like that. That would be a good question for you guys. Do you prefer Chicago-style pizza or New York-style pizza? Or do you want Pizza King? There's only two Pizza King to eat at. This Pizza King over here is good. We've been there before. Well, I'm just saying to be able to sit down and everything. You can? It looks pretty packed. It says Vanix. Right uh, Cause you're just gonna run in an order, right? Can't park here. We was gonna. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I mean, if that's the case, then you might as well just order it on your phone. I just go in there and eat. You sit in there and eat. I may have to have you guys go and I do that. Then I'll go back to shoot B roll. Or you just want to know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You can just order it, and then we can take it back there, and then it don't matter. I would do that, because we're not going to have time to... But that would just say, go through McDonald's or whatever. And we get coffee and everything. It's up to you guys. What do you want, Rock? You can do whatever you want. I'll get coffee. I don't need Oh, McDonald's. that's right, Rock. You don't eat. Yeah, and Taco Bell's not open. Just go order a pizza real quick. Just call and order it. By the time we do um, run and get coffee, then. <clears throat> oh, I'm just, you can probably head on over there. Chicago mm -hmm. Pizza Winchester, right? Mm -hmm. What do you want me to order? Just pepperoni and cheese. Just one large pepperoni and cheese. Give me a small thing, Sean. What the hell was that? I have no idea. I forget what it was called. All veggie, deep dish. Mediterranean. I just did an illegal U-turn. I don't know. I just have to call and ask him. I don't know, I even see it on our menu. But just call him over. That's what I'll do. Maybe. Yeah, I'd like to uh, place an order for pickup. Yeah, what can I get for you? Uh, can I just get a large pepperoni pizza? And traditional crust? Yes. Yes. And then, uh, can I get a, do you want, what size are Yes, a medium, medium, maybe. A medium, what was it called? Mediterranean. Mediterranean. 
Pizza. Pizza. Crust as well. Yes. Alright. That'll be it. Do you have any of your order? Paranormal Nightmare. What was that? Paranormal Nightmare. Fifteen twenty. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. I hope she makes the pizza. And it's like she probably, she probably thinks you're faking it. I hope not, because I'll be back here in fifteen twenty minutes. It's got to be under our name. Okay, which way to Taco Bell now? Well, Taco Bell is not. Or I mean left, McDonald's. I think. Taco Bell is not here anymore. I'm not really for sure. You gotta look it up. Turn right up here. I thought you were looking it up. Well, I was, but then I was just ordering pizza. I can't do everything. There's place. Yeah, there's the one I want. There's the pizza place. Yeah. The pizza house. That's good pizza. This is good pizza, too. I was just thinking Chicago. It's like deep dish shit. Mm -hmm. Phone. <clears throat> Nobody likes deep dish. Is there even a McDonald's in this town? Yeah, we just went there when we went to the asylum. It's right up here. I know where we're at now. Uh -huh. They're all still working. It's where my phone ain't bringing it up. Pizza King. We've never been to that Pizza King. Mm -hmm. That's the one I was going to come to. It would have probably been the Yucky. coffee. Josh had me craving nuggets, though. You can still get nuggets. You can eat them later. You want nuggets? Sure. Oh, here's my receipt. I like nuggets. Wow, that's bright. Did anybody look at the time when we ordered that? It was like five minutes ago. So probably 6.20 it'll be ready. Three large coffees? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of sauce do you want? For what? Nuggets? Yeah. Barbecue. Or if that savory chili sauce is any good. Hell no, I heard it's not. I heard it's really sweet and then kind of like a little spice to it. I'm going to try that. How many nuggets should we get? Mm -hmm, 50. Skip ten or whatever. What about Richard and Dan? They just ate. Mm -hmm. She's smoking. There's some of the best bones. Two golden cheeseburgers. So the cheeseburgers in. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just don't like McDonald's fish no more. So it always tastes like water. McDonald's fish is the best fish. 
You're a picky eater, though. Now, I found out Culver's has some really a good fish sandwich. It's probably the best. I think it was, like, this thick. And, I mean, it tasted like fish. McDonald's mm. tastes like and they just took it out. How they... You know, you take something out of the freezer, and then you cook it, and it just kind of gets that watery taste to it. It says never frozen. <laughs> yeah, right. I worked at McDonald's. They was frozen. You know, when McDonald's invented nuggets, they had to build all new equipment, a way to manufacture it, and then a way to do, like, dipping sauces. And that was, like, one of the things that catapulted McDonald's way past, like, Burger King. Mm -hmm. And still today, chicken nuggets are one of the top-selling foods at McDonald's. I would agree. McDonald's chicken nuggets are a lot better than anybody else's chicken nuggets. Holy crap, is this lady freaking going to finish ordering? If there's two lines in a drive through it doesn't matter if I go left or if I go right. Whichever line I pick is always the slowest line, and the other line just zips through. Like, next time I go to McDonald's, I'll say, well, I'm going to take the right lane because the last time the left lane was slow, and then that lane will be slow. It's like McDonald's has had the same menu for 60 years. By the time you come to McDonald's to eat, you already know what you want. That's why I try to tell my kids all the time. It never works. But my kids are pretty simple. They usually just always get nuggets. Unless they want the frappe or something or whatever all them are, which I think McDonald's should take all ice cream off the menu. So that's what slows me down going through. I don't like greens, I don't have that Oh, yeah. Usually machines are down. But I think they do that on purpose, Sal. <laughs> I would, too. I think they just say, oh, machine's down. <laughs> All that, their order was only 70 cents. Oh, we have to get pies. Okay. Because we can eat pies later tonight. Yeah. I, mean, I want apple, though. What can do you, you give want? Give me a large spray. Yeah. What kind of what kind of pies you want, Rocky? I just have one. Okay. I don't know if you like them. Um, what is that? Strawberry and cream? Yeah, I do. Are you on the comments, Rocky? Yeah. No. I wasn't on them. I'm figuring to tell her about how. Well, I didn't know if you was going to, if you was reading any comments or whatever. No, I ain't reading. I'm just telling people how to. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't even see any screen right now. This, that sun is bright. So is everybody having a good week so, so far? That's, a, that's what always amazed me, is why have two drive through lines if you can only do one line at a, one side at a time? Yeah. I'm paying attention. Troy's ice cream machine is always broken. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to tell this lady that we was here before her so she can't order a kind. Hello. Sarah says French vanilla iced coffee. Yummy. See? Look, she's ordering. But that's what happens to me every time. It's like I'll pull up here and like two or three cars beside me will order before I order. Will you be using an old lap today? No, thank you. How can I help you? I need a 20 piece chicken nugget with barbecue, sauce. with barbecue and savory chili sauce, three large coffees, a large Sprite, two.
two apple pies and one strawberry pie. That's it. 20, 36, first window. Damn, he got all that in one try. That's pretty good. Yeah. Hey, they did tough. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ed said, Pizza King in Ohio. We like the Pizza King in Indiana. Union City, Indiana has the best Pizza King that was ever built. Richmond Pizza King's really good, though, too. Nothing compares to Union City. You haven't had a Richmond, yet. Yeah, we did. That's the one has got the phones and shit. Yeah. Like a school bus. Well, no. Mm -hmm. Not a school bus. Just right down there on 40 off to the right. What's the ones like a school bus? Or it's train cars. That's the one out there by the hospital. Yeah, that's something. Like that. I don't think that's a pizza yeah. gang. Yeah, that's cool. I like gang 37. It's a... He wants to very happy. He's mad. What are you just talking about? About to have that. I'm always nice. Have a good night. You Thank you. Anna says she's never heard of pizza gang. Pizza King is the king of all pizzas. Marco's Pizza would be the queen. Just so you guys know, we're not going to consume all this food at once, but we will have food throughout the night. To keep us warm. <laughs> While we eat cold pizza. So at like 3 o'clock in the morning, if you want a slice of cold pizza, you got a slice of cold pizza. You want some cold nuggets? Carl, yeah, they need to bring Pizza King to you, the UK for you guys. See, if anybody in the UK is listening, if you open a Pizza King and you do it right, you could bank. bank. I wonder what kind of pizza they have in the UK. Mm -hmm. When Rob uh, comes over here, do they prefer our pizza or their pizza back home? Leo, their Pizza King. Because we got Pizza King in Ohio, too, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we got in Ohio, too. We just always go to Indiana for the Pizza King. We went somewhere and ate Pizza King one time. I don't remember where that was, and it was... Oh man, that was bad. That was Indiana somewhere. Yeah, I can't remember where the heck we was going to film. That was a breeze case. <clears throat> was it? But nothing will be as bad as that one place me and Josh went to. I mean, the place was beautiful, don't get me wrong. It was an old movie theater. But, oh my gosh. How you doing? Good. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Yep. Thanks. Good day, my son. Sun is bright. I want to try that chili dipping sauce. That's kind of what I'm most excited about. Um, sometimes I just can be bad. Has anybody on here tried the uh, McDonald's chili dipping sauce? We'll just get back over there. We'll get pizza and then we'll head over there. I want to shoot the B-roll like when the sun's starting to go down. Make sure you turn left at the 101. Put on plane room to park. Or now do you want to go around the other way to be away from the sun? No, Josh don't always drive. Me and Rocky drove over the weekend. Josh, yeah, but the weekend before that, I drove, what, 17 hours, probably? Yeah, I drove. Maybe more than that. 
Seven. No, I mean when we were in Tennessee. Oh, well, that was your choice. I told you I would drive, and Josh wouldn't let me drive. I'll let you drive me. Holy crap, lady, there's not a freaking stop sign there. Thank you, Lizzie. Sorry if we uh, missed anybody that donated. We appreciate it. Try this, everybody. <coughs> we gotta get it good. Oh, I got it on my nose. That's fucking disgusting. McDonald's, you got that one wrong. Oh man, that's not right at all. Wow. It tastes like if you took like your weed eater and went out and cut down a bunch of weeds and crammed it inside your barbecue sauce mm -hmm. and let it sit for a couple days. that taste off my tongue now. Yeah, that was disgusting. <clears throat> but you never know till you try it. Yeah, I think I prefer like uh, sweet and sour and barbecue. I don't eat ranch. I don't like ranch. Rocky is very picky about his food, so. Sometimes you just go with the flow. It's better to just go with the flow. I think last time we got this pizza, it was pretty good. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Yeah, I think as long as we get a signal in there, um, we'll try to go live some tonight. <clears throat> Be weird going live doing an investigation during the week. Anybody just now joining us, I don't know if you caught the beginning of the video when I was talking about this Friday, I'm going to post an update on Cheryl's case. I know a lot of you guys have been asking us about it. Um, Cheryl was doing some very disturbing things, so it's kind of a paranormal intervention. 
And then at the end of that, you'll get to see the episode. So people that may be new here that hasn't seen the episode and watch my intervention with Cheryl and be like, what the hell is he talking about? I'll have that posted. That sun is bright. But, um, and then April, we'll have brand new episodes starting Friday nights, eight o'clock. Like always, if you're new here, please smash that like button. And if you would, please subscribe to the channel. Anybody that feels like sharing it out on their social media. Jennifer says, Pizza King, Cherry Vanilla Coke. That sounds yummy. Chick-fil-A sauce, I don't eat because I think that's like a mayonnaise based. I could be wrong. I don't eat mayonnaise and I don't eat anything that's like a mayonnaise base. Yes, Devana, I do like Ghost Adventures. I think I like Ghost Adventures because we started like, literally we started in the paranormal, I think the same year, or they may have released the, um, the original documentary that they did. I think it was like some uh, ghost town. It wasn't even a show yet, it was just a documentary. Crinkle Fry says you catch more ghost feet ranch. That's what I heard. Sandy, thank you so much. You men are the best around. Hope that there's safe travels ahead of you, knowing that there's people with good hearts to work with the Holy Spirit, help others, makes us happy, makes me happy that you are successful. Thank you so much, Sandy. That means a lot. Greatly appreciate the donation and the very kind words. Jen Chadwick. Will you do an episode with Ghost Brothers? Sure. If they reach out to us, or if we reach out to them, I feel like that'd be a fun episode. Some people you collab, you collab with, you, th you know, I mean, you think it's going to go pretty good. Other people, you don't know exactly how it's going to work, like the dynamics of everybody. But um, we typically just stick to ourselves and do our thing. I think that's because we tend to focus on like family hauntings. Um, some people have said that we're low energy, but with family hauntings, you have to be a little bit lower energy um, because one, you don't want to stir anything up for the families to make it worse or anything like that. And you just want to be more respectful. Like if you're running around a haunted building and stuff, that's fine because you know, you're not hurting anybody, but. You're good. Okay. Coffee hot. So. I haven't taken a drink of it yet. So, Jay, some more of that sauce? No, I'll be. That sauce, I've got like three times in my pocket. <laughs> I think that sauce is going to kill me tonight. I can still taste that sauce like on my tongue and in the back of my throat. But you went in for a second dip. Well, I didn't. I learned the first time, Josh, like maybe the second dip will be a little better. I'm trying to find where. Which way I go now? I actually don't remember. I think just. I need to be straight. on West Street. I think it's straight ahead. That's what I was like. I don't know. Oh, no, I think this might be it right here. Because we came all the way down here. Yeah, this is west, southwest, right? Make a left. Everybody just go. Go ahead, sir. It's your town. You can go first. Stop sign here. Yep, 
this will lead us actually dead end to the parking lot. They put the uh, they put the crease right where the uh, mouth hole is. The drinking plate's not. That's how you drip coffee all down yourself. I just picture this being really, really hot. I don't like drinking it when it's really, really hot. It's not too good. Going boom, but I mean bouncing on the road because then it splashes back. Okay, you want to take a right here. We just take up the whole parking lot. Okay, let's get a few slices of pizza and then I can go. That's actually not that hot. That's weird. I can go do my thing. For the um, actual live and one here is like completely different. Holy mackinac, that's hot. Can you see that? Cheesy. That's what Josh likes. The more cheese, the better. Gotta use your napkin. Why you? Hey, Josh son. makes us awkward. I should grab that thing real quick. Put that. Definitely cheesy. Me, I don't care for that much cheese on my pizza, but that's me. Don't get your new hoodie dirty. He, he will. Guaranteed. It is good pizza, though. Rocky's got a Mediterranean pizza. Which is that just like a vegetable pizza? See all the uh, Rocky, they want to see a slice of your pizza. Hard work we do for you guys. Making me hungry with pizza. That's what we keep telling Josh we need an RV.
I'll stay right here getting the slider together. Josh can dip his uh, pizza crust in that McDonald's sauce. Yeah, I was going to ask for plates and I totally forgot. I didn't really want to walk back in there. That's how you construct a slider so your camera will slide back and forth. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, I think my phone's a little behind there, Joe. I looked down at my phone while I was reading the chat. It's like a little behind. Whoops. Then I just kind of lose. We should give Dan all those nuggets with that shitty ass sauce. <laughs> like here, Dan, we bought you a special sauce. You never know, though. They may like it. I guarantee they won't. He said that tree's been there for since the early 1800s. The one that broke. Mm -hmm. The I trees, the trees here weren't as big as I thought. I thought they were because, like in the summertime, that's all like shaded and shit. But they're not near as big as I thought they were. Like. Losing my napkins. Mm. Now we did a family haunting. I think the last few cases we did were family hauntings. Tonight we're doing a special investigation. Dan, the one that owns the Winchester Mansion here in um, Winchester, Indiana, or the Stone Mansion, um, he got with us shortly after the storm hit because they were curious how the um, storm damage and just the all the destruction in this area would affect the spirits inside there. So that's kind of our main objective is we know how haunted it was last time we were here is, is it going to be more active? Is it going to be less active? Are the spirits going to be, um, do they understand what happened to their building? Cause it was literally an entire family that lived here generation after generation. So this is, I don't know how old this place is. I don't remember. Oh, I didn't even see that tree down over there. Bang. So that's the question I asked earlier is, do you guys think that this is, uh, will the storms, will the damage, will all that negative energy affect the haunting inside this building? Should be more active. I can't see the name, sorry. Gotta see the white a little bit over there. Okay, well, I'm gonna go shoot some B roll before it gets dark. Okay. Definitely gonna be a chilly night. <clears throat> yeah, this is probably gonna be my last piece. This is pretty cheesy pizza. Which I don't mind cheese, you know, a lot of cheese on pizza or whatever. I'd just rather have the pepperonis on the outside, not underneath the cheese.
Josh walked up to the building. I was going to show you, but he's over. He's over here, but in the grass here. But this is good pizza. But like I said, I'd just rather have the pepperonis on the house side. Like I really like the sauce and the crust. All right, which is weird though, but to me, I I think bar pizza is like the best pizza. You call and order it and then just go pick it up, take it home. When you get the little square slices, that's what I really like. Which I am, I had a piece of Rocky's Pizza, the Mediterranean, last time we ordered up there, and actually that was really good. Alrighty. That's definitely it for me. No, oh, we'll have pizza for later, though. I drinking Turkish coffee. I don't think I have. Rocky may have. I don't know. You ever had Turkish coffee, Rocky? Mm -hmm. Rocky said he has. Oh. <clears throat> Can you guys see Josh? He has walked behind that tree. Square pizza is so good. I don't understand why square, like when you cut it in squares compared to having the triangle, why it tastes so much different. But to me, it does. So. Alrighty, well, we're going to get ready to hop off here and then, um, Start getting stuff ready. Maybe I can talk Josh into possibly trying to go live again later tonight. We'll just see how everything goes on the inside, but we will keep you guys up to date. So, alrighty. Well, y'all hop off here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And don't forget. Hit that notification button, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. We appreciate it, and we will talk to you guys all soon. So, thank you very much, and be safe out there.